Okay, right here is a 2003 Komatsu WA 900-3. Komatsu first introduced the WA 900-1 model at the September 1996 Mine Expo show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Later on, in 1999, an improved Dash-3 version, which you can see right here, was introduced. Now, let's go and take a closer look at this big loader. The WA-900-3 is available from Komatsu with bucket sizes ranging from 15 to 17 cubic yards. Short or high lift boom configurations were also offered for the WA 900 3, depending on what the customer preferred. The WA 900 3 features Z bar linkage, which provides for maximum breakout force when digging. The WA-900-3 features hydraulically actuated wet multi-disc brakes which are located in each wheel hub and are adjustment free for lower maintenance. The WA-900-3 has an 11-foot tread, which is the widest in its class, and a 17-foot 10-inch wheelbase, which gives this loader maximum stability. And to help give you an idea of the size of a WA-900-3, this loader measures 17 feet 4 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab, and 15 feet 1 inch wide. From right here, you can see where the two sections of the frame are pinned together. This is also where the articulated steering is. You can see one steering cylinder on each side, which will turn the frame left or right. Mounted on the left side of this loader is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank which you can see right here. And mounted on the right side of the machine is a 411 gallon diesel fuel tank. Now, let's go up top. From 
underneath here you can get a good view of the big diesel engine that powers this loader, which is a Komatsu SAA-12V 140E-3. Water-cooled, four-cycle, turbocharged, and after-cooled V12 diesel engine that produces 856 horsepower at 2050 RPM. The engine on this loader feeds directly into a full power shift planetary transmission with a three element, single stage, single phase torque converter. top here, you can get a good overview of the top deck on a WA900-3. Directly behind the operator's cab, here you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. Okay, inside of this compartment, here you can get a good view looking down at the hydraulic pumps. The WA900-3 utilizes two piston pumps. One powers the steering and the other powers the front attachment, delivering 83.2 GPM and 109.6 GPM respectfully. Behind these two compartments that you see located directly behind the engine house, this is where the air cleaners are located on the loader. And you can see directly on top the two air intakes for the engine. On the top of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust mufflers and you can see all the railings which provide safety for when the loader is under service. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the WA900-3. Let's take a look at what some of the controls do. Okay, directly out in front of the operator's seat, you can see the control panel that monitors the entire loader when it's in operation. The WA900-3 features an advanced joystick steering system. This hand lever that you see over here off to the left side provides the operator the option to steer this loader by joystick. And how you would do that, push the joystick to the left to turn the loader to the left and push to the right to turn the loader to the right. The buttons that you see are for gear selection. These two hand levers that you see over here, off to the right side, control all the digging functions of the loader attachment out in front. One to raise the boom up and down, and the other to curl the bucket in or out. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a WA900-3. This loader also features an automatic transmission with an electronically controlled modulation valve which automatically selects the proper gear based on travel speed, engine speed, and other travel conditions. The valve engages the clutch smoothly to prevent shock from shifting which provides for efficient machine operation and also for a smoother ride for the operator. The WA900-3 also features a dual active working mode system. The options available are 
powerful loading mode in which the hydraulic flow to the front attachment is increased for speed and production and also normal loading mode where all hydraulic flow from the pumps is transferred to the attachment for energy savings. And the noise level inside the cab of the WA900-3 is rated at 75 decibels. From up top here, you can get another good view looking down at the front attachment. Overall operating weight of a WA 900 3 is 118.3 tons. Komatsu continued to make many upgrades to the WA 900 3 series over time to improve the loader's overall performance. But there she is a 2003 Komatsu WA 900 3.